This video is proudly sponsored by chaoscards.co.uk. Be sure to check out the description for more links and information. Uh, well I guess the sun's gone away and the rain has returned, but out of the UK's miserable weather, we do have something pretty exciting! Being this! This thing finally came out, yes! If you don't already know, this is of course the uh, the brand new Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Elite Trainer Box, but the UK had a little bit of hassle with this and it wasn't released until the um, the Thursday this week, which was pretty crazy. It's um, absolutely nothing wrong on my sponsor's part. I think it was delayed for like the whole of the UK. I could be wrong on that, but I think it was, but still. While I uh, get the plastic wrap, I'll tell you a little bit more about this. This is of course the new one for Guardians Rising. I'm actually kind of surprised that um, this is the only one that they've released this set, considering last time um, they had Solgaleo and Lunar ones. I mean, I guess that makes more sense, but this was of course a dual set in Japan as well, and they could have just as easily made one for, um, for Lycanroc or even Tabu Lele, but seems that we, um, we just have the one for Tapu Koko this time, but it does look absolutely gorgeous. These boxes are incredible for um, just storing anything you want, really. But we get a lot of goodies with it, and I guess um, let's explore each one. But you might not know that the um, the little packaging that the thing comes in actually folds out to be a poster. If I can like unstick it, okay. There we go. Look at this beautiful thing. Wow. So we got Komuro, like in Rock Midnight, Tabu Coco. And my personal favorite, Alolan Ninetales. Does that thing not just look incredible? It's gorgeous, I love it. <laughs> but before we get into the box, we've got this lovely player's guide, which uh, I haven't actually taken a peek inside these too much, but if we uh, take a look at the end, we can see the, um, the mass of secret rares. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. Like, if you want to complete the whole set, it's probably easily going to cost you four figures. Easy. And I'm saying that not even having done a video on the cost yet, so ooh, it's probably going to be more than I'd expect. But anyway, <gasps> the beautiful box, the lid has to come off. There we go. We got these weird things to kind of prop it up, but the actual box is uh, quite a bit smaller than it looks. It kind of um, folds down to be around that size, something like that. No idea what I'm going to put inside it yet, but... I guess uh, before I decide that, let's see what is actually inside it. So let's get all the packs out. Okay, so we got these deck separators, but this one's bent. What? <laughs> That's really weird. Why is this bent? Like you can see a crease mark in it and everything. This one's bent too. That's not meant to. It's not meant to be like that. <laughs> That's such a shame. But at least we have two that aren't damaged. But. I wonder how exactly that even happened, that's so strange, but ooh, the beautiful exclusive sleeves, of course featuring Tapu Koko, I believe you get 65 of these in Elite Trainer Boxes and it's the only way you can get them and they're just gorgeous, so ooh. But what we got here, we got um, high quality uh, uh, special conditions and a GX counter. I don't actually know what the GX thing is for, like, how do you use it? <laughs> I know that sounds super... Super silly, but I don't remember you getting ones for EXs, but you get the um, the standard pack of energies. I don't recall how many are inside. It might be 65 as well, but big old stack. But it's kind of a little redundant to put them in um, the, the Elite Trainer boxes now, considering you get one in every single pack. I mean, that's why they did them in the, the previous sets, but mm, now you get one card in each pack. It's weird, but oh, these things are beautiful. These are special edition dice as well that... If you uh, take a little look there, it has the Guardians Rising set logo on it. It's so cool. I really like it. But <laughs> oh, that's how it works. I didn't. Oh, I didn't realize. But I'm guessing that the um, the set logo is actually a replacement for um, one. So if you roll it and get the set symbol, you just uh, act as if you got one. Huh. I didn't realize that. But we got a code, which is mine. I'm sorry. But <laughs> okay, let's get into um, what exactly you came here to watch. Eight booster packs of Guardians Rising. So beautiful, such a beautiful set. I um, don't have too many of uh, the secret rares. In fact, I only have one of them, so I'm really excited to see what we can get in this. I think um, Guardians Rising trainer boxes, or at least any elite trainer boxes, uh, they have the potential to be a lot more crazy, if that makes sense. Like, boxes, they tend to have more set ratios, if that makes sense, but if you're really lucky, you could even get like three or four ultras in a, um, an elite trainer box, you never know. 
but at the same time, you could get zero and just like a hollow or two. You'd be really unlucky, but you never know. But anyway, wishy washy, come they reverse! Oh, cool, I don't have that one. <laughs> I know I definitely have that in hollow, but oh my god, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. First pack, are you serious? Okay, this is my first of this type, but what is it? <gasps> what? Tornado GX Rainbow, are you serious? What the heck? First pack, are you real? What? What, 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 what? Okay. That just happened. All right. <laughs> and we still got seven packs left. Are you serious? What? Okay, so that is a first for the channel. That is the first time I've ever pulled a, uh, a Rainbow Rare in any of my videos. I do have quite a few of my binders, but they've either, bleh, they've either been sent to me or I've just pulled them off camera, but... My first Rainbow Rare from Guardians Rising, that's for, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Wow. That makes it like the whole box right there. And we're not even like two eighths of the way through, a quarter. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Okay. Definitely was not expecting that. I didn't even see it like at the bag. Like, I don't want to spoil it or anything, but it seems like a lot of the time when I'm opening opening packs on videos, you kind of see a little bit of a glimmer, but that was totally unexpected. Oh my goodness. How, 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 how? But Gliscor is the reverse, and then Salazzle regular rare, but I don't even care. I don't even care if we get like regulars throughout the entire box. That, that in itself is just nuts. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. What? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Right, but pack number three up next. Let's go. Alright, so this has Sudorudo, Field Blower, Choice Band, Chansey, Gothita, Alolan Volpig, Fletchling, Machop, and Carvana, and then the rare. Trevenant Regular Rare. Oh well, that's just fine. And Jenny's being like really loud in the literature right now, so give me a sec. Seriously, she does this every time I try and record something. I think it must be to get attention. <laughs> but if you want to watch it, then yeah, just stay there, Jenny. <laughs> and she's gone already. Wow. <laughs> I swear, if she like goes back to the litter box and starts making a ton of noise again, I'm going to be real sad. But let's get all the cards out. And that was a complete mess. I don't know what I'm doing, but... <laughs> I'd say, for the most part, you tend to get like maybe two or three good pulls from uh, Elite Trainer Boxes. So even though we did just get that Hyper, I think we should maybe get one more Ultra Rare and maybe one more Holo. I'm not sure, but that is a really, really nice Reverse Rare in Trevenant, which I don't have. And then the actual Rare is a Garbodor Regular Rare. Oh well. Alright, I think she's finally done making noise, but... <laughs> We're only halfway through, like what the heck? I can't believe we got that, but yeah. I guess um, if I were to place an order for something nice, it would probably just be a full art because the full arts from this set, they look insane. Like I'd say my three favorites would probably be Toxapex, Vika Vault, and Sylveon. They just all look insane. And I would like any one of them very, very much, but. <laughs> Max Potion, Tentacruel, Lampoon, Tentacool, Beldum. Let's just skip it because we know we just want to see what the rare is. Tentacruel Reverse, and then Alolan Golem Hollow. Okay, so I guess I was right in saying that we probably would get another Hollow. That is a little bit of a shame because that's one of the only ones I have from this set. Like, there are actually a ton. I'd say the Hollow I probably want the most would probably be Mudsdale because that's one of the ones from SM1 Plus, which, um, isn't even a hollow at all in Japanese, so it's like so cool. But anyway, what's gonna be inside pack number five? I think. <laughs> okay, Jenny's scratching to get in. Are you serious? I need to just put this down. Give me a sec. Oh, I think this is the fourth time she's interrupted my recording. It's making me sad. Oh, please just stay there, Jenny. But. We got Stubble, Whalemer, Machop, blah, 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 ooh, oh, that's a beauty, Chandler, okay, this one's regularly a holo, but it looks really, really good in reverse form too, and then Vanillix regular rare, huh, still, oh my gosh, that one's so cool, did I actually, um, sleeve the last reverse rare I got, I don't know if I did, the Trevenant, uh, oh well, but this one definitely deserves to go in a sleeve, oh wait, I did, but we're getting quite a few reverse rares as well. Like, that's my third one. Crazy. Still two packs to go. I think we can still get another Ultra, but 
Even if we don't, I am very, very happy with the way that turned out. Freaking Rainbow Rare on the first pack. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. <laughs> okay, the only way this box can get better is, like, if it had a full art or, I don't know, DC. Can I, like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is, but I saw something and I'm like, such a spoiler. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't think it's a full art or anything, it's probably just a regular, but still. Ooh, jump up! I don't have that one! Oh, uh, yes! Okay, so this is um, normally a hollow, but I don't have it in either. But the rare is... <gasps> okay, right, this is um, this is the best Elite Trainer box you can get. Oh my god. What? Freaking Tapu Lele! Of all of the GXs, it was Tapu Lele! Even in regular form, this is still worth like 20, 30 pounds. I'm pretty sure. What the heck? This box is crazy. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Okay, but that's three hits. I highly doubt we're going to get another one, but still, this has been crazy. What even? Oh my gosh. What? Freaking Tapu Lele GX! Ah, uh, I cannot, I cannot! But Lampoon, Clefable, Fletchling, Carvana, Barboach, uh, Clefairy. I can't move the cards today, they're just sticking to me. There's Jangmo Reverse. Did we get that one already? I don't know. But then the rat is. <gasps> what? I'm done. I'm done. I am officially finished! <gasps> what?! Two Tapu Leles in one Elite Trainer box! Oh my god! What?! What? 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 Oh my god, I cannot speak! I cannot speak! Wow! Oh my gosh, that's probably like the best Elite Trainer box we could have gotten. You cannot be serious. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Four hits. Four hits alone is crazy. The hits we got were, oh. All right, let's just do an insane recap. I really don't know what to say because that's just complete insanity. What even? But we got four reverse rares, three of which are normally hollows, which is really cool in itself being Jampa. Chandelier, Comfey, and then Trevenant. I don't think I have any of these, but what the heck? Okay, so let's just go in um reverse tasty order, I guess. I don't know. But a Lolan Golem Hollow. Really, really beautiful one. I guess I'll take the sleeves off them, but freaking Tersonator GX Rainbow Rare. Look at this. Look at the shine on it. Does it not just look incredible? <gasps> It's so good, oh. But then, what is especially mind-blowing? Two, two Tabu Lele GXs. Two, what? That's insane. I don't even know if I've ever seen anyone get duplicate GXs in a booster box, let alone a freaking elite trainer box. And of course it was Tabu Lele. <gasps> I have no words. I have no words, that's insane. That's actually insane, but yeah. If um if that's any uh, persuasion to get one of these, then go ahead, go out and get one. Maybe you can be as lucky as me and get two tabu leles and a rainbow. You never know. But oh my god, <laughs> I've kind of run out of words today. I've really run out. <laughs> right, but I think that just about does it for today's video. Two tabu leles in a row and a rainbow. I cannot. But I think uh, right now I'm probably just gonna play a little bit of footage where I show you everything new going into my binder because I got a ton, a ton of new cool stuff with this box. It's crazy. But as always, please, please, please do check out the links in the description to my awesome sponsors, Chaos Cards, because I got this box from them. It was definitely worth the wait because it was insane. But yeah. I am going to be doing more Guardians Rising stuff on this channel, probably another booster box or two, depending on how I feel, but <laughs> my voice is dead. This stuff has just killed my voice, so I think it's probably about time I end. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>